I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 things that are cool to be good at, but not so cool to be really good at. I'm glad puns aren't on this list, because they're always cool and always punderful. This is why we get hate mail. Twenty-five, Remembering people's personal information. This can be useful, but if you're too good at it, things can get awkward. Hey Tristan, isn't your number 352 for a- 24. Cornhole, or beanbag toss. This is cool to sort of play on weekends before football games, but if you're joining leagues and whatnot, well that's slightly less cool. About 20% less cool. 23. Games on your phone. Beating Angry Birds is something to talk about, but if all you do is beat Angry Birds, you need to reassess your priorities. Whew. 3 stars. 22. Moving quietly. Not making noise in the office, library, elsewhere can be nice, but if you're always sneaking up on people, that might freak them out a bit. What's up? Ah! 21. Mario Kart. It's nice to be good at it and have fun during family get-togethers, but if you're too good, those family get-togethers can turn sour real quick. Get out of my way, Toad, you- 20. Juggling. It's a nice party trick, but if this is the only thing you do, suddenly it becomes slightly less cool. I don't- I don't know how to juggle. 19. Drinking games. If you're having fun with friends, it's okay. But once you start winning all the time, that can send the wrong signal about how you spend your free time. 18. DDR. Dancing is always cool, even if it's a video game. But just like with regular video games, there's a point where more skill leads to less cool. 17. Magic. Whipping out a card trick at dinner can be entertaining. Doing magic for a living, though, that puts you in the potentially weird category. Sorry, magicians. And Barney. 16. Karaoke. It's good to be sort of okay, at least so people's ears don't bleed. But if you're one of those opera singers who crash karaoke parties just to make everyone else feel bad, not cool. No. <clears throat> 15. Saving money. Being good at saving is smart and wise. Being a miser, not so much. 14. Wine. Good wine knowledge can make you seem cultured. Too much wine knowledge can make you seem pretentious. Ted. <laughs> 13. Quoting movies. It's sort of cool when you can reference movies every now and then. It might even make for cool conversation or jokes, but doing it all the time is sure to lose you some friends. May the force ever be in your favor, Mr. Potter. Gandalf from Star Trek. 12. Math. Being good at math is kind of cool, even in school. But if you're on the math team, that's not quite as cool. 11. Jumping rope. Being okay at jumping rope is nice, and it can be enjoyable. Once you start doing tricks, though, people might start thinking you're a little weird. 10. Using a yo-yo. This is kind of like a card trick. It's cool in moderation. Once you start getting really good, though, the coolness level declines. Uh, unless you're the fourth doctor. 9. Bowling. If you average below an 85, you're probably physically handicapped. If you average above a 170, you're probably socially handicapped. 8. Catching babies falling out of windows. The first time it happens, people will be grateful. Maybe even the second time. But once you start regularly showing up wherever there's a baby falling out of a window, people might start asking some questions. I have several. <laughs> 7. Fitting your car into tight spots while changing lanes. This can be useful in rush hour traffic. If you're too good at this, though, you might start scaring your passengers. Like in a Mini Cooper. 6. Debate slash dialogue. Being good at debate or dialogue can be a useful social skill. Being too good can be an efficient way to make enemies. 5. Making money. Most people respect somebody that can make money. Once you get too good at it, though, 
Your new friends usually have ulterior motives, and your old friends? Well, they'll still be there, but probably think you spend too much time working. 4. Picking Locks Being good is pretty cool. Being too good will probably raise some eyebrows. I'll never be suspicious of you. <laughs> 3. Suppressing Emotions Suppressing your emotions is considered a mature thing to do. Smothering your emotions is considered mentally unhealthy. 2. Using coupons Getting some discounts is smart shopping. Always bragging about how you bought $600 worth of clothing for 5 cents is annoying. 1. Nose whistling It's cool the first time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that wasn't cool at all. I didn't even do it. I'm sorry. Enjoy our outro. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.